Morning. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 5 New Game Plus. And today, being the last day of May, is going to be a bit interesting because we can talk about a couple of mechanics in the game that I haven't really interacted with yet. So we get to talk about that for a little bit, which is nice. The first thing we're going to do is check outside the school and pick up this conversation. Uh, you can find it lots of times. Uh, between the sort of the bullies and the people they're bullying um, and as soon as you realize it the first time then when they start talking about the mementos request about someone who's bullying around the school it should click in your mind oh that's who they're talking about you know that's what's going on but that's not what we're going to talk about today today we're going to do two things the first is we're going to take on on a date because we currently don't have enough points to rank her up but what we do have is we have the opportunity to go on a date and the really nice thing about the dates is you can do one you can do multiple things one if you choose the right location you will receive a gift from your date of choice uh, so for example in this one we're going to go to the Shibuya diner uh, sorry the Shibuya buffet and that date is going to allow us to get a gift from Arn, which we can then display in our room. The second thing that we have is we have the chance to give her a gift. We spent a lot, of, right at the start, we were spending lots and lots of money buying gifts, and we're finally going to actually be able to, um, to spend them and to actually use them. Like? The purpose of the gifts is to give you a big boost to the favorability that you currently have with one of your confidants uh, in order to push them up to that next uh, level up rank. But also you can do it when you're in a relationship with them or just to, you know, just to add a bit of flavor text with regards to that. The nice thing about the gifts is that there are a huge wide range of them and each girl has different um, ones that they would prefer and you have to, within we'll your own opinion, work out oh, yeah. which of the girls um, would prefer which uh, of the gifts. There are also certain gifts that have very, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that have unique dialogue associated with them, that is in fact what we're going to see now, uh, as I give on the Uji Matcha Flan because she loves her sweets just so damn. Bye. 
Seriously? worth me saying that you can give a gift even if you don't take them somewhere on a date even just the uh, standard rank back. up event you can give them a gift yeah. and obviously gifts are really useful as i say for boosting that um for boosting that favorability for boosting that confidant link the big thing to worry about is that there are certain conversations or there are certain gifts oh. that different girls are just not going to be interested in um. and if you choose to do that well Bye. you don't get any mo you don't get any points to that you don't get any bonus points which is a bit of a pain because the points that you do get now, you usually get up. three uh, so you get two for certain items and then if you make a really good decision um, for a particular um, for a particular girl uh, you'll get three rank up uh, music notes to your confidant link and obviously these are all really valuable parts to the confidant link and really help actually with a few of the later confidants just because they take a fair while longer to actually um, sort of run through and actually uh, for us to make progress with them okay so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to interact with the laundry. Uh, it's brought up in Kamashida's palace. If you open a certain chest, that you can occasionally pick up armor, which is particularly dirty. And doing so, uh, you can then come here, uh, just pretty much just outside uh, LeBlanc to the laundromat and we can wash these items. And the nice thing about washing said items, it's worth noting here that I get a bit confused because I thought I had more. Um, it doesn't sh tell you that, say, for example, Come here I think on. I have three grimy gears. It doesn't actually tell you that and I got a bit confused, which is why I'm sort of faffing about for a bit. Uh, but we're going to get Kawakami um, involved with this just because there's no point in us wasting time uh, waiting for our laundry to be done when we've got uh, Kawakami so willing to help us out with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to interact with the laundry and see how that uh, kind of plays out. The way the laundry works is that now listen up. you find a given version of the dirty uh, clothes so our current ones are the you know just the basic okay. uh, grimy gear and then also the soiled armor as you work your way through the game you will get pretty much each palace has two types of dirty equipment associated with them um you know one that's slightly lower level and one that's much, uh, one that'll be slightly higher level as well Hi. the way the game works is that every time you wash an item, you have a one in four chance of getting one of four different types of armor. Uh, one is unisex, one is for men, one is for women, and one is for Morgana. And whichever one you get is pretty much completely at random, which makes it a bit of a pain. The really important thing about the armor is that a lot of the armor is some of the best armor that you will get at this, um, at this stage in the game. So for the grimy gear, uh, we can get uh, an ancient shirt, which has endurance hey, hey. plus three, which is the unisex item. Sure the male up. item are some pauldrons with agility plus three. The female item is an old camisole, which has no effect. Um, and for Morgana, you got a well-worn scarf, which is magic plus three, which are all, the, the ones with that least with plus three there are all pretty good. And the, they all have defense 
um, just less than 50, which at this stage in the game is actually not too bad, especially if you're washing items, say, just after doing Kamishita's Palace. Uh, you can get some pretty decent armor ahead of, say, the Kamishita boss fight if you wanted to do something along those lines. The other one that we're washing here is we're going to wash up the soiled armor. Uh, the soiled armor we have... Um, you get the worn chain mail, which is the unisex item. Uh, you get an old blouse for men, which has resist burn. The retro camisole is for women, All right. it has magic plus three. Nice. And the for Morgana, you get a guard bandana, which uh, gives us resist freeze. All right. So you, nothing completely mind blowing, but they're still pretty useful. And especially by the end of the game, some of the items Hi. that we get are some of the best armor in the game. So you can see which ones I get there. And that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope you will join me on the next. <laughs>